Hey, let's talk facts about duct cleaning equipment. This video will better explain how our duct cleaning equipment works. There are two main elements to cleaning ducts. First, cleaning the debris for the ducts, and second is disinfecting the ducts. When removing debris from the ducts, you first insert a reverse air ball that allows you to blow the debris back to the clear duct box. The box is then attached to our dual motor vacuum system. When cleaning commercial ducts, our 24 by 24 clear duct cover allows you to cover the larger duct opening so you can effectively remove the debris. We also include a clear, lightweight duct cleaning hose that's designed to self-feed the line deep into the ducting. Our whip head works excellent in breaking loose caked on debris on the duct walls. Our BioClean duct sprayer is designed to mist chemicals into the ducts efficiently. Our sprayer has a two-foot wand that allows you to direct the chemical mist and center it into the duct opening. The spray mist applies the chemicals up to 20 feet. We added red dye to our sprayer bottle to demonstrate misting chemicals using our sprayer. Our complete package includes a flight style travel case, our clear duct cleaning box, our kick plate, cut off valve, metal spray gun, our whip head, our reverse and forward ball, 25 foot lightweight clear duct hose. Our system also includes a flight style travel case, ladder hook, our BioClean duct spray gun, and a two foot sprayer wand. There are two types of duct cleaning methods. The first is the negative air method, which uses large vacuum systems. The second is the contact or push and pull method, which utilizes portable vacuum systems. Fact number one, both methods work. That's right, if your goal is to remove dust and debris from ducts, they both work. Both methods require a vacuum source and an air compressor. The big difference between these two methods is negative air requires that you cut an 8 inch hole to access the ducts, whereas the contact method utilizes the existing duct openings. In addition, the negative air method requires a vacuum source that is either a truck mounted unit or a very large portable vacuum. By far the most expensive equipment is the truck mounted units costing between $39,000 and $55,000. Negative air portable vacuums weigh in at 150 pounds and cost between three and five thousand dollars. Besides the vacuum, you need many other tools to clean air ducts properly, and much more, costing another two to three thousand dollars. A complete portable negative air setup costs between six thousand and eight thousand dollars. Fact number two. You cannot use negative air machines in some duct cleaning jobs. 
In our experience, some job sites prohibit cutting into the ducts. For example, secured facilities like a prison, many high-rise buildings, and ducts located in high ceilings make it impossible to use negative air duct cleaning equipment. Ironically, we have customers who understand this problem and have purchased our system to allow them to do the jobs that their negative air equipment cannot. Look, when we first started out duct cleaning, the equipment cost was not a major factor. We chose the type of equipment that gave us the best ability to clean a wide range of different types of buildings. And at the end of the day, isn't that the most important decision in choosing duct cleaning equipment? Our system is now time tested and job proven. Our equipment has become the most effective equipment in our industry today. When you purchase our complete duct cleaning system, you'll receive a step-by-step -step video tutorial explaining how our equipment works. This will help walk you through your first duct cleaning job. We also offer job site and bidding advice with our customer service hotline. Please follow the link below or look up ProAirEQ.com. That's ProAirEQ.com to learn more on how we can help you get started in the duct cleaning business. Thank you. We look forward to working together.